Hello, welcome back. Let's find out what happened to the special baby dolphin named Winter. Winter did get better. Ah, good. But her tail was hurt. Her tail was hurt. Slowly, it fell away. Her tail fell away. Imagine that. The dolphin's tail falls off. You can see her here. She has kind of a strange shape on the back of her. There's no tail, right? It just kind of fell away. So this is very dangerous. How can a dolphin survive without the tail? How, because they use that tail to swim. Winter had only a stump for a tail. This is a stump. It's, it's not finished, right? It's just a stump. Sometimes, unfortunately, some people have accidents. They might lose a hand. If they lose a hand, there's no more hand. There's just a stump. We call that a stump. She only had a stump for a tail. The people at the aquarium wanted Winter to swim again. So the people at the aquarium wanted Winter to swim again. They worked hard to help her. Winter learned to swim without a tail. Wow, that's pretty amazing. She learned to use her flippers. She learned to use her flippers. What are flippers? Well, if we look at a dolphin, this is the dolphin here. You see these things here. These are flippers. This is a fin. Okay, but these are flippers here. We call these the flippers. So the flippers would be here. This is not a flipper. Not a flipper. This is a fin. F I, whoops, F I N, F I N. So that's a fin. Okay, there we go. Fin. These are flippers. So she can use her flippers to swim. Whew, at least she can swim. And by the way, flipper is an interesting uh, uh, name. There was a very famous dolphin on American television when I was a boy. It was a television show, and the, tele the dolphin was named Flipper. And so many Americans my age know about a famous dolphin whose name was Flipper. So Flipper, okay? And that comes from these things here, flippers. But thankfully, she learned to use her flippers. And here she's with a friend, right? She's with a friend who's also helping her. That's good. Now Winter swims with the other dolphins at the aquarium. We can see that. She reminds us that our actions can harm or help wild animals. That's important there, right? She reminds us to remember Kiokeo, right? Kiok, oh, kiok annao, I forgot, right? But kiokeo, I remember. This story reminds us, it helps us remember that we have to be careful in nature. Our actions, even if we don't mean it, right? The fishermen are fishing for fish. Their actions can harm wild animals. They don't mean, they don't want to hurt the dolphins, but their actions can harm wild animals. So we have to think about what we're doing, and we have to think about what's a better way. Is there a better way to do something? Okay. Thankfully, Winter survived. Winter plays with the other dolphins. She is a fast swimmer. So even though, even though she lost her tail, she can swim with her flippers, and she can play with the other dolphins. So, whew, winter will be okay. She was saved. Okay? But we have to be careful about other dolphins. Okay, let's take a look at our glossary and our index. Remember, the glossary is a list of important words that you learned or that are interesting in the book. Usually difficult words, like aquarium. Let's practice that pronunciation again. Aquarium. Aquarium. Remember, an aquarium is a large glass tank or pool that fish and other animals live in. I gave you two examples of aquariums, right? One is at the Coex Mall in Seoul. The other one is at the Sea Life 
uh, mall or Sea Life uh, Resort, uh, not resort, Sea Life facility in Pusan, right? Okay. I've actually been to the one in Pusan, and I told you before as a scuba diver, I scuba dived in that aquarium with the sharks. You think dangerous. It's okay. They feed the sharks before we go in. Whew. So the sharks are full. They're not hungry. Whew. <laughs> okay. Mammal. Remember what a mammal is? A mammal is a kind of animal that feeds its babies milk. That's a new fact that we learned just now. But we learned before that mammals breathe air. Like us, right? Humans breathe air. Doggies breathe air. Mam mammals, all mammals breathe air. Dolphins. What's another mammal in the water that breathes air? Do you know? It's a whale. A whale is also a mammal that lives in the ocean, but it's a mammal. It also has to breathe air. So it also comes up to the surface and breathes air and goes down. So whales and dolphins are very similar. Remind. Remember, remind is to make someone remember something. And maybe we don't think about something, but we see a story or we hear about something and it reminds us about something else. To remind someone. Remember when you use remind, you have to use an object. Remind him. Remind her. Remind us. Okay? Don't just use remind by itself. Who do you remind? Who is being reminded? We have to say that. So remind somebody. Rescue. Rescue means to free from harm or danger. To remove somebody from harm or danger. To get them to a safe place. And that's what happened to the baby dolphin Winter. They took her and put her in a safe place. They rescued Winter. Okay. So those are our words. Now about our index, right? Our index, it doesn't tell us what the words mean. It just reminds us where we can find those words in the story. For example, aquariums. We read about aquariums on page 7 and 8 and 10 and 11. So if you want to remember what uh, we learned about those or what we read about those, turn to those pages. Fishing. We read about fishing on pages 5 and 6. People. There's lots of people in the story. We have the fishermen, we have the people at the aquarium, and we have people who have to be careful of their actions. We talked about those people on 4 to 5, 7 and 8, and page 10. And finally, the sea. Pada, right? Sea is also ocean. Sometimes people say sea, sometimes they say ocean. Ocean. Right? Same thing, really. Sea, that was on page 10. Two. Okay, well, that was a good story. Uh, if I, everybody likes dolphins. I'm sure you like dolphins as well. This is a good story about a dolphin, but it's also a good story because it reminds us that we have to be careful about what we do in nature, whether it's fishing, whether it's throwing away garbage, whether it's pollution. Whatever we do, we have to be careful because we share this world with many other animals. So we have to be careful about our actions. Don't forget, remind yourself of that fact. Okay, well that wraps it up. We'll see you next time. Take care.